All right, so in these two problems, this is number six and number seven from the worksheet. We went over these in class, but I'm going to go ahead and go over them again. Um, you're asked, asked to write the first statement for an indirect proof for each situation. So we've got two different, two different forms of this. The first one is set up as, as an if-then statement, just like we used to do with our um, if P, then Q. So right here in triangle MNO, if MP is perpendicular to segment NO, then MP is an altitude. Remember, this is your hypothesis, this is your conclusion. Remember, that's P, this is Q. So this right here, your conclusion, is what you're trying to prove. So when you're going to write the first statement of an indirect proof, you're going to take the conclusion and you're going to write, the, you're going to try to prove the opposite of the conclusion. So in this case, if the conclusion is MP, segment NP is an altitude, we're going to um, then, our first statement of our indirect proof is going to be MP is not an altitude. Okay? So again, if your situation is set up as an if-then statement, with your if part being your hypothesis, and then the then part being your conclusion, you want to take the then part, take your conclusion, and write the opposite of your conclusion. All right, so you'll see some of those set up, set up, you'll see some set up like those tomorrow on the test. Another way to set it up is to give you a given and a proof. <clears throat> so if I've given you the given as angle, whoops, forgot to put the one in there. Angle one is not congruent to angle five, and you are to prove that angle two and angle three are not supplementary. You're gonna take your proof part, and you're gonna write the opposite of the proof. So, in this case, the first statement of an indirect proof would be angle two and angle three are supplementary. All right, so those are the two ways. One, if it's set up as an if-then statement, you're gonna take the conclusion part, the then part, and you're gonna write the opposite of that. If it's set up as given and proved, you take your proof and you write the opposite of that. And that in both situations, that's what your first statement of an indirect proof would be.